So I was out there recently looking at a couple of YouTube videos of some other menswear style guys or whatever you want to call it. And a lot of them were going into the aspects of being an alpha, you know, go out there, be an alpha, crush it, bro, you know, do this, do that and slay all these women and, and go out there and, and take what's yours. And, and that's, that sounds good. That sounds like it's uplifting, but to hold on to that alpha mentality, it's almost impossible. I mean, being an alpha is more of an ideal than it is something that you do in practice. So I was looking at that and I was thinking to myself, man, what is it that people really need to be? Somebody that's going to be respected by others, that's going to be revered and I guess attractive to women, somebody that your kids can look up to and all that stuff. Whereas I think that a lot of the people out there in the menswear space are kind of giving you advice to, to just be an alpha. And it's just a platitude. It's just something that just means go out there and take what you want and, and whatever. And I think that for me, the most important thing is being what's known as a high value man. So what's a high value man, right? A high value man is someone that does not seek validation from other people. He gives value to other people and then there is the aspect of you go and you do whatever it takes to get what you want. So how is that different? It's because it's it's kind of the same as as being an alpha, but it's different in the sense that you're focusing more on yourself and how you interact with the world as opposed to going out and taking and dominating and slaying. You can be a high value man without being a jerk, right? And I think that a lot of times people kind of tell you to be an alpha man to be a jerk, you know, because that's nice guys finish last and women like jerks. And there is merit to that. I mean, women do like it when guys are jerky towards them, but it's more of a, it's more of something that is, that doesn't last long. It's something that you can do that and you could probably be very successful with women, get them in bed and be successful in relationships and things like that. But that's not sustainable. You can't just put on that suit of armor and be that ideal all the time. Sometimes you need to fail. Sometimes you need to learn from that failure. Sometimes you need to go out and do other things. Now, I will tell you this. I do think that as a high value man, you need to learn what it means to succeed, but also you need to learn what it means to also build and uplift other people. When you're talking to another person and they kind of come at you with a whole lot of negativity or what have you, if you just kind of back off and shake their hand and say, hey man, you know what? You might be right on that one. Shake their hand and then maybe move away or maybe keep continuing to talk to them. That person will turn into your friend. I mean, unless they have true malice towards you, that person will end up being your friend. And you know, if you quote, if you go on the quote of Abraham Lincoln, the best way to defeat an enemy is to turn them into a friend. And I, I wholeheartedly believe in that that paradigm. But let's 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 get into some of the the things that are being taught out there and some of the things that you should avoid and some of the things that you should maybe hold on to. So one of the things is <laughs> being alpha and those mentality traits, right? Being an alpha means never being vulnerable, never being someone that can make a mistake always being someone who has the right answer at the right time when it's needed, dominating men, dominating women, not caring about anything in the world. That's what an alpha is. And although you do need to adopt some of those traits at some times, to be able to put on that, that suit of armor and be able to be that guy all the time, it's, it's, it's impossible. 
it's impossible. So I look at that as being something that people should potentially need to fall back on if someone is being extremely divisive or extremely aggressive to attack you or what have you. Then you need to kind of defend yourself, you need to gird up and you need to to go at them. But as a general rule, you should always try and diffuse and de-escalate potentially explosive or emotional situations. So one of the things that you should do as a high value man is you need to know your worth. And what does that mean? That's self that's wrapped up in self-esteem. That's also in not seeking validation from other people. You need to be able to look within yourself and be able to say, you know what? I'm good. I'm, I'm okay. You might not like something that I've done or you might not like the way that I feel about a thing, but it's okay for you not to like something that I like. I'm still okay. I'm still good. I'll give you an example. It's one of those things where if you are in a conversation with someone and they have one political leaning and you have another political leaning, it's okay for you both to be completely on different sides of the spectrum, not agree on anything, and that person is still cool and you're still cool. You know, it's it's when you get into a, a cycle of trying to convince that person because you know that what you're you're thinking about is so correct that if you can't convince them, then somehow you're diminished in some way. That's not the case at all. You need to, to hold fast to your own beliefs and your own trappings and hold on to it because, hey, you can't be anybody else in the world. They're all taken. You just need to be yourself. And it's not easy not seeking validation in other people. We're social creatures. So that might run contrary to how you kind of view the world and how the world views the world, if you will. But people that are self-reliant on themselves, and that doesn't mean that you can't lean on other people. That doesn't mean that you can't uh, have other people in your corner or seek advice or seek help. That doesn't mean that. It just means that you are self-reliant and you are steadfast in your beliefs. That's the critical thing here. Find some beliefs, believe in them, and know that that is who you are at the core. I'll give you an example also of that this isn't one of those things where you need to you can't make a mistake or you can't slip sometimes and maybe revert back to, to a previous self or just seek validation. I mean, again, like I said, we're social creatures. One time I was having a conversation with a person that I hold dearly and I wanted to expose them to some music. I played the song for them and they immediately, she immediately was resistant to it and she didn't like it. She looked at the album cover of the song. She just didn't like it. And what happened was, is that her reaction to me really put me in a state of, I was, I was disappointed and I was just kind of wrapped up in some feelings and some emotions to where it's like, well, why don't you like my music and all of that stuff. And that is, <laughs> that is something that was, a failing of mine, right? So it's it's one of those things, and I slip up too. I mean, it, you know, it, it, after about 30 minutes of being in my feelings, not being in my feelings so much, but just thinking a certain way, I, I stepped back and I looked at it and I was like, you know what? She wasn't wrong in how she responded to it. You can't be wrong at, or you can't be upset with the way somebody reacts to something that you did, something that you said, or something that they heard or saw. The only thing that you can control is how you react to it. And that's one of the learning points that I had for myself. I had to kind of look at that and say, you know what, that I, I was seeking validation for the music that I was putting in front of her. And that was dead wrong. It was dead wrong. I should have just played it for her. If she didn't like it, so what? Let's move on and, and, and go on. And that doesn't mean be callous and, and not have feelings, but it, it just means that people are going to think the way that they think so be it. I can tell you the one thing that you don't want to do is be a low value man. And a low value man is somebody that is trying to dominate other people, somebody that is trying to always take 
from a situation, you get into a situation where you're talking to somebody, especially if it's somebody that you don't know, and you're always trying to laud them with what you've done and, and what you're accomplishing and everything that you've taken care of and all the things that you're aspiring to do. And I'm not saying that you can't talk about those things, but if you're doing that in every conversation, the problem's with you. Also, and this is probably the worst, is you see somebody else succeeding or about to succeed and you start sniping at them. You start taking taking shots at them, either to their face or behind their back. And you're talking to other people, and really, you just make yourself look less than because you can't enjoy somebody else's success. It always has to be you that's shining. You got to get out of that. You, you got to get out of that 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 lowbrow mentality. So. When we're talking about the traits of a high value man, the one of the first ones is give value to others. That's probably the most important thing. Well, they're all important, but give value to others. So what do I mean by that? That means that if you see someone, look for the good in them and don't give them a yeah, but compliment or what have you. Give them a legitimate compliment if you can. You know, hey, that's that's really nice what you what you did back there. Or I really appreciate how you phrased a certain statement that they made or what have you you could comment on something physical about them if you want it doesn't matter now, that doesn't mean that you need to go around complimenting everybody but it just means see the positivity in somebody try and build them up you know make yourself available if if it if the situation warrants itself make yourself available to them to help them along in their journey and if you do that and i don't believe in karma or anything like that but if you do that I do feel as though people will recognize that, see that, and they might reflect it back on you. But you're not doing it to get, to get the reflection. You're doing it because that's what high value men do. You build up other people. And you're gonna realize that when you're dealing with women, that building women up really helps your cause, right? Now, this I'm not gonna give you any game on how to game women and, and get this and get that. To be honest, if you if you want to be successful with women, you just have to do a couple of things. Be yourself, build them up, and don't seek validation in them. D don't do it. And then you should do this when you're not even talking about women. Always go after what you want. Now, we'll get into that in a little bit. But women are simple creatures. And you don't have to put on an air or be an alpha or dominate them or treat them like crap just to get in their good graces or to be successful with them. You just need to be yourself, but you need to be steadfast in who you are. That is the most important thing. Be true to yourself. The next behavior of a high value man is, and we touched on it a little bit earlier, don't seek validation in other people. This all boils down to self-esteem. And I know it's, it's easier to say than it is to do for a lot of people. But at the end of the day, you need to be resolute in who you are and what you are and be comfortable with that. And people will see it and you will shine. You will shine. Let your nose be your nose and let your yeses be your yeses. But that also means that if you give somebody your word, you need to hold on to it. Don't just cavalierly throw your word into the trash. Don't do it. And don't let anybody else besmirch your character. But also, you don't need to sit there and be in some kind of a cat fight with some other guy or some other female about who you are and what you are. You know what you are. If you're not getting any kind of a resolution or anything like that from any kind of a conversation that you're having with them, hey, it's okay. Walk away. They're going to be who they are. They're going to think who they are. It's very difficult to change somebody's mind, especially when their, their mind is set in stone, when it's based on a belief or a belief structure that was passed on to them by their parents or by longtime friends or things like that. You just can't please everybody. You can't be everybody's friend. You need to be resolute in yourself to know that, okay, that person doesn't like me. We're not friends. And I'm okay with that. I'm all right with that. The third and final behavior of a high value man, and there are many others. There, there's many other smaller things that you can focus in on yourself. But the biggest thing is find what you want and go after it with everything you have. Don't do things in a kind of halfway. That's no good. 
you need to set your goals. And, and I, I fully believe in writing down your goal. You're 33% more percent more likely to achieve a goal if you write it down. Don't just have a dream. I want to be a millionaire. I want to be rich. That's a dream. A goal is I'm going to be a millionaire in eight years and here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to invest this way. I'm going to save this amount of money. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Write them down. Put your goals down on paper or on a tablet or whatever digital medium you, you decide to employ. But write your goals down and then go after them voraciously. If you want to do it, if you're in your 40s and you want to make a career change, have at it. Figure out what the career is, find out what it takes to make that happen, and then go after it. Do it. Don't just sit around and play the victim and say, well, I can't do it because the white man held me down or because my wife was working and I couldn't study one night because I had the kids or I couldn't do it because my parents wouldn't let me or I couldn't do it because my girlfriend, whatever. There's always an excuse to not do something. There's always an excuse to not do something. No excuses. Just get up, write your goals down, figure it out. You want to be a software engineer? Figure it out. You want to be an actor? Figure it out. You want to go and be the next president of the United States? Figure it out and attack it with everything you have. That's that's the long and the short of it. And it's it's simple. But it's tough to do because a lot of people live in this gray area where they they try something, they fail, and then they say, well, I can't do it because of such and such and such and such. Hey, look, every successful person has failed more than they succeeded. Facts. Square bids. Every successful person has failed hundreds, if not thousands of times in small increments and large increments. They failed, but it's their, it's distinctly their ability to get up, learn from their mistake, apply what they learned and keep driving towards their goals. It's as simple as that. It really is. So this concludes my first podcast. I'm going to publish this on iTunes and these podcasts will come out probably once every week, probably on Monday, but we'll see. We'll see you know, how that goes. I appreciate everybody that that stayed until this point in the podcast and I'll see you next time.